I'm actually going to see Kane Brown near my birthday, so I'm so excited. Anyway, you know the drill. I'm gonna hit the gym before I start my cheat day. I really like to work out fasted. And I mean fasted. Like, I don't fucking mean like a six hour sleep fast. Anyway, let's do this. Now that the pre-workout is running through my veins, let's get into the gym and see you for my first stop on today's cheat day. Okay, hola. Life update. Uh, finished the gym, had a bomb, bomb ass workout. I ran for 45 minutes today, which is the longest I think I've ran in almost two years. So. Today, I am gonna weigh in and do my check-ins with myself. I weigh in and check in with myself every Sunday and Wednesday, cause besides these cheat days, I'm on a little weight loss journey. I will show you today, but I don't know if you guys really care for the future. If you do wanna see weigh-ins before and after my cheat days or whatever, or just before, I'm more than happy to share that with you. I really don't wanna weigh in after my cheat day because it's kind of a mental fuck for me, but um, I can weigh in every week before my cheat day if that's something you wanna see or a body update, cause I. I do those anyway for my own personal goals whatever but anyway today's cheat day is going to be a hundred percent vegan I am vegan like six days out of the week unless I'm doing a cheat day. I'm craving mostly vegan foods right now, so let's just make the entire day vegan and that'll be easy. So I went and picked up my favorite brunch. I'm so excited. Oh. Oh, this smells so freaking good in my car right now. So I got some brunch, got some cookies. So let's get this vegan cheat day started. Ooh, it looks so good. I got a breakfast sammy, which is basically just like a pita with some tofu scramble. Ooh, there's cheddar cheese on it. Spinach, tomatoes, and aioli. I think garlic aioli. Oh, it looks so good. Their breakfast bowl. This thing. Their breakfast bowl is life-changing. It's so good, so good. I got some cookies for dessert. <sighs> and I just realized we have Disney Plus on the TV, so I'm gonna watch the new Lady in the Tram. And the only thing I need now, my favorite condiment, sriracha. Mm -hmm. Nice, healthy dose. So, I will show you my check-ins today. If you do want to see these in the future, if you do want to see my weigh-ins in the future, then comment down below, let me know. Like I said, I check in every, every Sunday and Wednesday, and I wait until after I check in to start my cheat days on Sundays, if I do decide to do a cheat day on Sunday. So, let me know if that's something you want to see in the future. I'm probably not going to eat as many sweets today because I'm not really craving that many. I'm craving more savory foods today, but I'm starving, so I'm going to devour this food right now. You don't even know. I don't even know where to start. This is so good. Oh. This thing, once you start eating it, you cannot put it down because it is so messy. Like, look at this thing. It's like a big, huge breakfast taco. Mmm. For this pita thing to taste as good as it does when it's vegan and gluten-free, like how the hell do they do this? I don't know. This is better than any normal breakfast I've ever had. It's so good. are supposed to be green, right? <laughs> mm. It's like sour and sweet. Round two. So it's got a base of hash browns and then lentil sausage, tofu scramble, pico de gallo, guacamole, and then I put some hot sauce on it. Mm. It's cold, but still so good. They make this in-house. This is their lentil sausage. It smells amazing. 
holy like i crave this stuff it's all vegan and i crave this i was gonna have this whether it was a vegan cheat day or not like i really was just craving these two items If you've never had tofu scramble, just give it a try before you discriminate. Like, I crave this. I crave this tofu scramble. It's so good. Mm. More sriracha. This is a lot of food when you haven't eaten in almost, well, in 24 hours. Man. <sighs> so I did finish most of it. I just have some potatoes that I didn't get to. That's fine. <laughs> I'm not gonna eat those. I'm gonna take a little break, watch some Lady in the Tramp, and then I'm gonna get to my cookies. So these cookies are also from Planted, so they're vegan, gluten-free, their cookies are the best cookies I think I've ever had. And because they're vegan, they're not fully cooked. Honestly, I like cookie dough better than I like cookies, so that is perfect. They're so good. Those were so freaking good. Those cookies hit the spot and my sweet tooth is satisfied. I am feeling good. I have an idea of what I want for the rest of the day, but not entirely. So I'll see you for lunch, I guess, even though it's already 1.30. I'll see you for my next meal. Bye. So I know I said today wouldn't be like a sweet, kind of day because I was just kind of craving more savory foods but then I got like this wave of girl emotions and so I went <laughs> and picked up well this kind of just caught my eye this hot chocolate cliff bar there's uh I guess Christmas flavors out so I got this and my favorite ice cream this so delicious salted caramel cluster this is the best ice cream ever so I'm feeling sad I don't know if I want to talk about it, but I'll eat this ice cream and if I want to share anything then I guess I'll share that. <laughs> I don't know if I've had this before. I don't think I have. I love Cliff Bars. My favorite is the white chocolate macadamia nut. That one's so good. Well, Cliff Bars kind of just like look the same. They all look like a big blob of goo. <laughs> there's white stuff in it. I'm kind of confused what those white chunks are. What are those white chunks? Good though. Just gonna eat my feelings here. It's actually a pretty good flavor. This ice cream is the best flavor you'll ever try it's so good oh so it's cashew caramel base and then it's got swirls of the caramel and then clusters of cashew and chocolate chunks mm. Mm. it's so good 
it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know guys, I just kind of got very uh, emotional driving home, kind of going through some like relationship issues. But I don't know what to say, like when I'm upset I don't really like to talk, I just kind of like to wallow in my sadness, so. This morning my mood was like 10 out of 10 and I don't know how my mood can just go from 10 out of 10 to like on the verge of tears just driving like how does it go from that to this in one day I don't know my moods have been like that lately though and it's really frustrating that is a big bite fuck <gasps> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need to go home and put my sweatpants back on. I finished probably like three quarters of that, but I'll save the rest for another emotional day. <laughs> I'll see you for my next meal. some sriracha on my other one. So I'm actually really excited. This is by far my tastiest cheat day to date. I don't know why, but these vegan foods are so satisfying. Who would have thought a fucking egg salad would satisfy me so much, but. takes away from the flavor of the egg salad, but it's not bad. Mm. Oh, I <laughs> bit my lip. Oh. Let's see if I can take this down in one big bite. One more to go. I'm gonna take a little 10 minute break and I'm gonna let my battery charge. I'm gonna let my tummy make room, okay. I'm going. Okay. Hi. <laughs> oh, I feel a bit better. I'm going to tackle this last sandwich and then I'm going to take a little nap before I have to go to my night shift. Here's the last sandwich. I know it's tofu based, but it is a million times better than any real egg salad I've ever had in my life. Like, it's so good. Sometimes it scares me how much I can actually like put in my body. That's what she said! <laughs> I'm like a bottomless pit sometimes. It's ridiculous. Last bite. I'm really full right now. I'm gonna go lay down, take a nap. And I will see you at my next and final meal for the day. I'm gonna be cooking this for my last meal. It is a black bean burrito, and then I also have something else. Then I'm going to have some of this plant-based cheesecake. There she is, 
the burrito and the cheesecake with an obnoxious amount of strawberry sundae syrup. But I'm trying to get rid of it, so yeah. Let's tuck in. I'm excited to try this cheesecake. I've had it before, so I already know it's good. Oh yeah, it's so creamy. 10 out of 10 recommend that cheesecake. It's so freaking good. We'll see. It's gonna burn me for sure. Ooh. It's okay. <laughs> Nothing that great. I did want to talk to you about my um, fitness goals because like I said, I'm not having a cheat day. I'm actually dieting and as you may have noticed, every time I start my cheat day, I'm pretty much going to the gym or, and I've also been fasting, which is something that I've been doing every day that I'm not cheating. So basically, my goal is to get back down to where I was before I did my bikini competition a few years ago and I sat at around 145 pounds. You saw this morning I weighed in at 157, so that means I still have about 12, yeah, 12 pounds left to lose. I started this journey two weeks ago uh, weighing in at 164, so I've already dropped 7 pounds and I guarantee that's not all fat, but 7 pounds down since I started. And I'll put some before and afters from when I started versus now. It's not much of a difference, but I'll put some. Basically what I've been doing is I've been doing intermittent fasting. Pretty hardcore intermittent fasting. I'm pretty much just doing one meal a day most days and then probably an hour of cardio six days a week plus weight training, I'd say four or five days a week. But yeah, I wanna be 145 pounds by Christmas, so I do have like a little bit of a series going. I don't know if I'll actually continue with it because my focus is just kind of scattered and I don't know if I have time to do it, but I did start a series. I don't know if anyone wants to see it. And the app I'm using is called Happy Scale. It's pretty freaking cool. So this is what it looks like when you go into the app. Um, 160 was my last weigh-in, that was on Wednesday. And I'm gonna put in my weight for today, which was 157.0. <laughs> and then you can see that I've unlocked another milestone. So I've hit one of my fitness goals. And it basically breaks your um, your fitness goals into little milestones. So I have six milestones all together. And the sixth milestone will obviously be my 145 pounds, but for now I'm on milestone two of six. And it shows that I'm 50 per, 57 per seven complete milestone three. Breaks down what, what uh, how many pounds to go to the next milestone, 1.5 till I hit 155.5 and then it'll unleash um, the next milestone, which is pretty cool. And then, whoop, weight trends. So, this is pretty cool. It shows that so far I've lost 4.2 pounds in the last seven days, lost 3.4 in the last 30, 3.4 in the last 90, and nine pounds altogether so far and then predictions, and then it shows your little weight chart. So this is the last 30 days, that's the last seven days, you can go 90 days, a year, all, and yeah, it's pretty cool. I just like it because it does break it down into milestones and it makes it a little bit more manageable. Um, but if you don't really complete one, you can still go and look into your chart and see like, oh, I am on a downward trend, like I am making progress, so it's not like I'm stagnant. And yeah. So like I said, I'm gonna put my physique update and I'm gonna put my weigh in in this episode right now.
thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed all the treats I had today, all the vegan goodness, because there is so much vegan goodness. This was by far my favorite and most enjoyable cheat day to date, so I'm actually happy I did decide to go 100% vegan for today and just enjoy all the vegan treats. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on my next cheat day. Bye, guys.